Alright guys, last little thing I got for you today before we finish cooking this little pancake and uh, see how it's coming out. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. Tastes good already. I taste a little bit off top of it. It tastes pretty good. Um, I've been sitting on this because this is a aluminum boat and it's kind of cold. But this is a little blanket I got from the uh, truck stop yesterday. Um, it's probably about 60 by 80. It's almost almost as big as my wool blanket. Um, I got it. This is the the most subdued colors they have. These things are usually colored pretty wild. They're uh they call them Indian blankets because I guess they think Indians used to wear these or used to use them. I know they used to use them on horses as uh cushions to go underneath the saddle. You know they take them and fold them in half throw that across the horse and set the saddle on top of it. But what I'm going to do, as you can see this thing is pretty wide enough. Let me get this uh, where I can get back a little bit here. It's plenty wide enough to cover me. And even with it resting on my shoulders, it's going to come down pretty low in the front. But it'll give me plenty of uh, plenty of access and plenty of movement and mobility because I'm not going to sew it in with you know sewing the sleeves up and everything like that. I'm just literally going to slit this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about the middle which is about where this crease is from where I had it folded and we're just going to go I know Dave was saying you know where you can stop seeing it. I'm just going to take it say about right here Get a little pair of scissors, make a little slip to access it. And then we'll just make a little slip here and here to kind of let me know about where to start. So this is just kind of a loose woven blanket so it's not that heavy but it should be heavy enough for what I want to use it for this is just going to be a extra little layer give me a little bit of extra warmth and make it a little bit more comfortable when I'm out there in the woods so let's see if I've got that big enough so I can make a few adjustments Ah, that's pretty that's pretty close right there already you see it gives me plenty of mobility now if I wanted to I could still bring these around tuck this in and put a little piece of string on there and tie it off bring these up a little bit roll them and still have good mobility even if I've got this tied off with a piece of paracord or something but even just using it like this it's comfortable. Yeah, I know. It looks like I'm in a looks like I'm in an old classroom. But this will give me a little bit of you know a little bit of windbreak, a little bit of extra warmth layer. I'm going to waterproof it with just some regular uh, camp dry spray. And if I have to scrunch down, get down on the dirt, I can take this and bring these little flaps in independently from each other, just like that. And I can sit here. I've got my little uh, my little skull cap on here. That's keeping my head pretty warm. Um, this thing's blocking the wind pretty good. Like I said it's polyester and uh, polyester acrylic and cotton blend, so it's not wool. It's not going to be as warm as the wool blanket, but uh, it's blocking the wind pretty decent. Um, so I'm liking this. All I'm going to do now is go back and whip stitch around these seams to keep them from unraveling with some uh, I got some black silk thread or some black Kevlar thread one of the two depending on which one I had the most of but uh, that's it just a quick just a couple of steps and a little stitch and it really you wouldn't have to stitch it other than you don't want it to start unraveling on you too bad um, easy to get on and off I still hadn't damaged it to the point that after I stitch it, I can still use it as a, a bedroll or as an extra pad if I wanted to. 
Um, so I haven't, I haven't destroyed its original intended purpose. I can still use it as a, a ground layer if I need to. Um, Eight dollars. Don't know where they're made. It just says balsa blanket, Indian style. Um, that's it. There's nothing on this <laughs> tag other than the fact that it's 50% polyester, 40% acrylic, and 10% cotton. Well, like I said it's fairly warm, comfortable, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. Those. Even though I'm wearing flip-flops, my feet don't get cold, people. The rest of me does. So, that's my little idea I had, just along the lines of the wool hunting shirts that Dave was doing. Only this is totally open. Um, so, I'm totally free in my movements. If I need to, I can throw it over one shoulder. I've got this shoulder open. I can bring a rifle up. I can bring my bow up, even if... I have this down, it's still not in the way of pulling out a bow or even a rifle to give you a little extra cushion. So that's my little horse blanket poncho. I'll waterproof this later on tonight to show you how it comes out. I may cut this slit just a little bit lower to let it hang down, but I can still get in there to get my more if I need to. So that's it for right now on my, my parka, my little poncho. Let's check in on some food. So that's it for me for right now. I got an Alice pack, a large Alice pack I got for $15 at the Gun and Knife Show Saturday morning before I had to start working. Um, I'll be doing a review on that or at least posting some pictures of it on Dave's Facebook page for you to see. I've got to make a repair on it, one of the, uh, one of the snaps. You know, they've got these kind of snaps on them. And one of the snaps is missing, the little uh, plastic clips. So I went ahead and bought a new plastic clip, male and female side. I've got to sew on there. I might do a little video on just doing that real quick. And, uh, of course, I've got to whip stitch my little poncho. But I'm going to tell you what, it is cold out here today. Now, it's not as cold as it is for some of y'all, but for down here, see what my thermometer says. We're looking at 28 degrees outside right now. And my hands are a little nippy. My ears are a little nippy. But the rest of me is feeling pretty good. And when I tuck my hands back behind this, I'm feeling right. <laughs> I can sit out here the rest of the day and watch the world go by and not have a care in the world. Flip-flops and all. Cable Guy Ken here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope I gave you a little tip or two. Made you chuckle. Makes everybody's day a little bit brighter where we can just smile and laugh. So, peace to all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Catch you again on the next one.